Okay, so for this one, I'm seeing, I want density. That might throw you off a little bit. But notice the other stuff they give you. They give you a temperature and a pressure. So if it was just density, I might think something out like mass over volume or pressure equals density gravity times height. But it, it doesn't really work because uh, you don't have what you need. Here, when they give you a temperature and a pressure, you want to start to think PV equals nRT. Because you can use PV equals nRT to get density, to get mass, to get moles, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, it, it's really an ideal gas law problem. So T, let's just get the factors. T, 25 degrees C, at 273.15, if you want to be really specific. There's temperature. I just add 273.15. You can add 273, that's fine with me. Uh, the pressure is 745 torr. I've got to convert that to what units? ATM. Yeah, ATM. So one ATM is 760 torr, and that will be given on the exam. If you know it, I guess you're that much faster. R is going to be 0 0.08206 liters atmosphere per mole Kelvin. Uh, and what the only things I don't know now are uh, moles and volume. Well, that's okay. That's essentially my density. So let me show you by writing this. N over V is P over RT. So you see how I could calculate this right now? I know P, R, and T. What's the units of N over V? Moles per liter. Kind of like molarity, not exactly because it's a gas. I don't want moles per liter, I want grams per liter. Yeah, we just convert. So once you do P over RT, you just convert by multiplying this monster here. Uh, a little space. Multiply it by what? To get grams per liter. The molar mass, grams per mole, of what compound? Um, CH3OH. Yeah, CH3OH, which is methanol. So it would be... Carbon's 12 plus uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 16 plus another 16. It's around 32. You can find it more specifically. But once you get N over V, you multiply by 32. Okay? Does that work for you? Okay. So when you see density, if, if they give you gas sort of items and they ask you for density, mass, moles, uh, or even molar mass, you might want to think to use ideal gas law.